Welcome to Paris 47. The show is just about to start. This is the red carpet event of the season, and the guest list is a veritable who's who of the global fashion elite. You will find Viktor Novikov basking in the spotlight, while Dalia Margolis hosts the heavily guarded auction on the second floor for a group of Iago's top customers. Now, event security will keep a watchful eye on any suspicious activity, but I trust your timeless look shall fit right in. Good luck, 47. more with continuity than innovation. Whether Sato, the archetypal left field artist, and Novikov, the quintessential capitalist, are a match made in heaven or an unholy union remains to be seen. Either way, this evening has already had its fair share of surprises. Just a moment ago, I saw none other than Valerie St. Clair arriving. Now, to those out there who've been living under a rock for the past six years, St. Clair, legendary editor-in-chief of Showstopper magazine, has long been one of the most vocal critics of Viktor Novikov's quote-unquote thuggish stranglehold on artistic integrity and has defiantly boycotted sanguine shows in the past. We will try to get a comment from St. Clair immediately after the show about this surprising change of heart. We'll also be talking to legendary Israeli supermodel Dahlia Margolis, whose relationship to the Sanguine CEO is yet another testimony to the fact that whatever Viktor Novikov wants, Viktor Novikov gets. This is Lindsay LaCour reporting live from the Sanguine Fall Fashion Show. Good evening, sir. Welcome to Sanguine. There he is. That's Novikov, the owner of Sanguine, right there. That is Viktor Novikov, head of Sanguine and ringleader of Iago. Quite the resume. A pleasure as always. Uh, make sure to join Dahlia and I for a drink later. There's someone we would like you to meet. Now, uh, hold on. He's what? If you'll excuse me, Congressman, urgent matter. Do enjoy your evening. Goddamn artists. Sir, this is a restricted area. Now don't show yourself here again. Look, Daniel, she's nice. Well, I, I, I don't Still know. No There's some scandal looking. Okay. What's going on up there? Oh my god, they, they know, they, they know, okay? They know what we're up to. They've caught Haley and we're next. It was a mistake to come here and rub Novikov's nose in it, Valerie. Please. Just leave right now, please. No, 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 no. Victor and I are going to negotiate. Oh my God, what are you talking about? Negotiate about what? Valerie, you've been trying to discredit him for years, and now? Showstopper's going under, Liza. <sighs> what can I say? It's all about the blogs now. Blackmail Victor and we save the magazine. It's not pretty, I know, but... Look, we still need solid proof that Victor and Margolis are in it together. And if Haley's been caught... Liza, I need you to get up to that auction and finish the job. Me? N no, no I, I can't. Hillary, you can't ask me to do that. I can, Liza. 
And you will. We've got 200 jobs on the line. If not for me, do it for them. Oh, god damn it. Atta girl. Here, this will get you inside. Your cover story is as follows. You represent the Van Orton Tobacco Company, looking for a way to discredit key members of the National Cancer Coalition. Just get me some evidence and then get the hell out. You can do this, Liza. I trust you. Now get going before we lose our shot. Yes, I... Oh, oh, are you? Um, yeah, well, look, yeah, I know it's late, but look, if you could just... Look, look, I only need a lens for my camera. It's an emergency. Palady Walewska. It's downtown at... Yes, the Sanguine Fashion Show. I'm about to do an interview with Victor Novikov, and my intern must have just dropped the equipment bag. No, look, I'll meet your guy out front. I literally... Look, I literally run... Alongside the van, throw money in the window, right? He won't even have. No, please, look, this is like make off. According to the young fashion blogger, Novikov has agreed to do a live interview. This could be a good time to catch the sanguine CEO off guard. The location, however, is currently unknown, and in any case, the blogger needs a replacement lens for her camera. May I suggest you help a girl in need? Break for me. I'll totally make it up to you. I'll advertise you shamelessly. No, no it's, well, it's a web theme. All the rage. You know, about fashion and lifestyle. And... Oh, come on, please. I'll be forever grateful. You'll tell me something to you. Thank I'm just really pissed off, okay? Valerie wants me to do... We just need a...
Excuse me, miss. I couldn't help but overhear. Is this what you're looking for? Oh, God! Yes! Yes, thank you so much! Oh, what do I owe you? Just glad I could help. Thanks, mister. You're a lifesaver. a flair for the dramatic. Secret exchange at the pavilion, very cloak and dagger. Who's the contact again? Max Decker of the Russian FSB. I don't know, some Cold War dinosaur. Uh, must be pretty important for Novikov to take time out during the show. We should go check out the place, assess security risks. It's pretty exposed for my tastes. Eh, uh, let Kurt worry about that. We've got enough on our hands. Sir, you can't come through here. Sorry. Pile up on the freeway, could we? So you have a spot in mind, or? Okay, fine. We'll wait in the lounge. Is there a problem? Novikov is busy. He told us to stay put and enjoy ourselves. His security staff will come fetch us. He's right. Tell you where we're going? Pavilion, Northwest Gardens. That it was away from crying eyes.
crap going on around here. Is this what you're looking for? Oh, God, yes! Yes, thank you so much. Oh, what do I owe you? Just glad I could help. Thanks, mister. You're a lifesaver. Hey, what's up? for the dramatic. Secret exchange at the pavilion, very cloak and dagger. Who's the contact again? Max Decker of the Russian FSB. I don't know, some Cold War dinosaur. Well, must be pretty important for Novikov to take time out during the show. We should go check out the place, assess security risks. Novikov is meeting Max Decker, a senior agent in the Russian FSB. Small world. The FSB has been mounting a criminal case against Novikov, but Decker's boss, FSB Section Chief Nikolai Kamarov, committed suicide only last night. Or perhaps not. Either way, this could be a chance to catch Novikov away from the spotlight. Be exposed for my tastes. Eh, let Kerb worry about that. We've got enough on our hands. Sanguine line, huh? Yeah, I mean, did my stage clothes for the last tour. It's pretty cool stuff. The way his solo career was skyrocketing, I never thought he'd be taking a backseat, designing for one of the big name brands. Oh, I'd love to be a fly on the wall in those design meetings. I mean, two inflated egos like Sato and Novakal going head to head? That's gotta be a comedy waiting to happen. Or a survival horror. Oof. Yeah, tell me about it. We played at Novakal's wedding about 10 years back before his little Roddy makeover. <laughs> hey, as long as the drinks are free, people tend to forget how tight he was with the Russian mob. Once a bully,
Huh. Command, got some strange noises here. Looking into it. Over. I'm awesome. Five minutes? Silence, thank you very much, okay? 
Is there a problem? Novikov is busy. Told us to stay put and enjoy ourselves. One of his security staff will come fetch us when he's ready. Tell you where we're going? Pavilion, Northwest Gardens. Said it was away from prying eyes. Mr. Decker, Mr. Novikov will see you now. I will escort you to the rendezvous point. Ah, great. Thank you. Lead the way. Escorting Max Decker, Mr. Novikov's orders. Been expecting you. Go ahead. Surprised. Maybe he's fashionably late. Back off a little, buddy. You're starting to freak me out. Mr. Novikov, I'm at the pavilion. We did wait. Then your guy took us to meet you here, so which is it? A security guy wore a uniform. All right, fine. See you soon. Well done, 47. Novikov is about to meet with Decker, and you have a front row seat. He's coming. But parking is expired. So uh, I, I gotta ask you. Section 69. Is that your handiwork? Look at these hands. I'm a bureaucrat, Carson. No, I dare say young Kamarov got a taste of Viktor Novikov. Ask me, he had it coming anyway. Nobody likes an overachiever. And the file must be pretty important for Novikov to cough up seven digits. Sinister. Every bit of dirty intel the FSB ever collected on him. That our friend Novikov wasn't always in fashion, Carson. But the public has a short memory span. And now he's tying up loose ends. Securing his legacy and our retirement plans. Mr. Decker. Howard. Things at the 
office. That's 91 all over again. Kamarov is found dead. Gun is dead. Good work, 47. Time to find Dahlia Margot. Bliss.
much it if I were you. Look, Novikov's expecting a heads up before we trigger the display. Now, so you can watch it from the dark. What's up? Don't let the bright colors and the classical cuts fool you. No, 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 no. The themes I'm exploring here are perhaps my darkest yet. I've explored feelings. Of Everything okay? and weakness.
like the gear. Decker here. I'm at the show. Well, we could hardly predict a pile up on the freeway, could we? So you have a spot in mind, or? Okay, fine. We'll wait in the lounge. Is there a problem? Novikov is busy. He told us to stay put and enjoy ourselves. Well, his security staff will come and fetch us. Tell you where we're going? Pavilion, Northwest Gardens. Said it was away from prying eyes. Mr. Decker, Mr. Novikov will see you now. I will escort you to the rendezvous point. Ah, great. Thank you. Lead the way. Escorting Max Decker. Mr. Novikov's orders. Been expecting you. Go ahead. Fashionably late, sir. Droll, Carson. Mr. Novikov, I'm at the pavilion. We did wait. Then your guy took us to meet you here, so which is it? I don't know. A security guy. Wore a uniform. All right, fine. See you soon. Well done, 47. Novikov is about to meet with Decker, and you have a front row seat. He's coming. But our parking doesn't expire. So Command garden area appears clear. Over. Keep those eyes peeled. Understood. 
Time to find Dahlia Margolis. Looking good, man. Yeah, check this out. The rumors were she was trained by Massad. Massad does walking lessons? Take it easy, Chief. No, apparently back when Margolis was a supermodel, she was also working as a spy for the Israelis. I heard that's how the mongoose was caught after years underground. Everyone wanted to meet Dazzling Dahlia, including those hey there. who could have stayed in the shadows. Huh. So you're saying that Massad trained her to Fuck me! 
Yes. I know you had to set it up fast, but you can't just toss equipment around like it's... Yeah, well, it's Miss Margolis's private laptop. The whole auction is running from that thing. What if something had happened to it? You don't have to be sarcastic about it. You know what would have happened, right? She would have shot the messenger. That means me. Fine. Just... just don't do it again.
That is Dahlia Margolis, supermodel turned spy master. In the shipping sector of the United States. Hi. Good hunt. So, uh, are you going to tell me about what Victor did? <sighs> Victor has a lot of skeletons in his mahogany walk-in closet. And sometimes the lock won't hold. <laughs> a young, ambitious FSB section chief was mounting a case against Victor for past crimes. He got close, too close. So Victor, failing for once to bribe or threaten his way out of trouble, made a deal with an assassin. Someone with impossible skills. The price? A copy of the Iago dossier. Everything we have ever collected. No questions asked. And did Victor bother to tell me about it? No, he did not. The client's in there. Are you saying they're bidding on used goods? Victor is certain this mystery man was looking for something very specific. He won't be bribing people left and right. Still, it's the principal. Dolly. Victor is a loose cannon. Hmm? And I hate to say it, but maybe, maybe he needs to be put down. You're kind of mixing metaphors, but the thought has crossed my mind. Dahlia, Camille is in position at the fashion show. So, who's the mark? Julian Wakefield, the actor. Camille is just his type. She's got that Ada Lockheed look. Hmm, Wakefield's old girlfriend. Clever. And how will you guide Wakefield into her path? Wakefield only drinks a particular brand of smoked whiskey. I made sure that all the bars are out, except for the one that Camille happens to be standing at. I sincerely hope I never get on your bad side, Dahlia. So, Wakefield is a member of that Church of Ascendance, isn't he? Is that who we're targeting? Those crypto-spiritualists? The Church of Ascendance is wealthy, powerful, and secretive to a fault. I have clients who would pay a lot of money to know what's going on inside that temple of theirs. You see, Wakefield's fame will push him right into their inner circle. And if everything goes according to plan, Camille will be right there with him. Good plan. I'll keep you updated. Next on the list is a real trip.
Targets are down. Great work. Head towards an exit. How was Moscow? Kamarov is gone. I set him up as a Langley spy. It's quite the scandal at the FSB. His death will not be investigated. Your turn. Very well. The secrets of the global elite. Five years of work. Everything we've collected. This thing makes WikiLeaks look like a gossip rag. The pen beats the sword, huh? I have found that whoever wields the sword decides who holds the pen. Smile, Victor. Your reputation is safe. Now run along. I'm sure you have pretty dresses to attend to. Victor, good luck with the show. I have a feeling it's going to be the one you'll be remembered for. <laughs>